Jay, the movie owl, back for another opening. Now in my last video, I did open the Steelbook 4K lenticular version of Deadpool 2. And at the same time, while talking about two of the different versions that were available, um, I mentioned Once Upon a Deadpool. Um, so I'm going to open this and just a quick opening, just have a look at it, talk about it a bit. So, a bit about this film. Obviously Deadpool 2 opened in... 2018. Um, to much fanfare, Deadpool 1 was a, a massive hit um, on a very low budget, so they pumped more money into Deadpool 2, obviously. Um, it was bigger, it was bolder, um, but it, it did suffer from being a sequel, not having the freshness of the first one, and um, also it had um, the, the sort of regular superhero story, um, so it did fall into some of the tropes of that sort of thing um people do say it's not as good as the first i would agree with that but it's damn well near 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 as good as the first it is it's a very fun film um the film made a lot of money at the box office but um not quite as much as the first one so in late 2018 um fox in as it was fox then before it went to, um, to disney in the infinite wisdom decided to try and 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 push for more money um, so what they've done was they created this um, PG-13 version of Deadpool 2 that you could take your kids to go and see so it omitted a lot of the language and, and the bloody violence and that sort of a thing um, and re-released it now it was re-released as a homage to the movie The Princess Bride um, and they gave us Once Upon a Deadpool um, so uh, the film itself is bookended by two brand new scenes and, and bits within. Um, but the two brand new scenes that bookend begin the uh, beginning and end of the film are of Wade Wilson, Deadpool, um, telling the story of the film to Fred Savage. Um, Fred Savage, you'd know from The Wonder Years, um, when he was very young he was the main star of that back in the 80s and um also i mean he's been in a lot of stuff he's quite a well-known actor he was also in the third austin powers film if you've seen that the one with the, the geezer with a mole on his face that austin powers is poking with a stick and um, can't stop saying mole <laughs> very funny scene <laughs> anyway so yeah so, so this was released to try and generate more money in the cinemas more viewings uh, get young audience to see it, but but there was probably a um, an ulterior motive as well to releasing this, which was to see how it would fare as a lower rated film, um, whether people would accept it, whether people liked it, whether it'd generate the money to um, yeah. Did I mean to, to yeah? So that's what happened. Um, this is actually, what I've got is a version from Australia. Um, I don't believe it was ever released here in the UK. Um, I mean, is it worth watching? I mean, I watched it, I've watched it once. This is obviously an unsealed copy. I actually ended up with two of them by accident and, and sold one. So the one that I'd opened, I, I sold. Um, so I have watched it once. Um, it's, it's an interesting project, um, I can say that. Um, it's more like a, it's a tag along. It's like something that if you've done an ultimate Deadpool collector's box set, um, that it should be in there as like a special feature kind of disc sort of thing so that you could, um, you know. So yeah, um, but anyway, enough about it. Um, shall I open it up, we'll take a look and uh, see what we've got. So yeah, so without further ado, let me get this little baby opened up. Hi everyone, before I open up, I just want to apologise for the next part of this video um, as because the table wasn't straight with the camera, so it's a bit off, but there you go, that's life. So, as you can see, here we have the front of um, the steelbook. Um, yeah, so you've got Deadpool with Fred Savage um, riding a moose. <laughs> Yeah, a fairy tale. I can't read it upside down. I can't really. 
A fairy tale twist on Deadpool 2, the whole gang can enjoy. Yeah, so the PG-13. Um, there's the back of the box. Obviously, there is no slip case or anything of the start. Um, let me read you the back quickly. From the studio that brought you Anastasia and Ever After comes a fairy tale that doesn't go by the book. Everyone's favourite dis disreputable superhero returns with a twist on Deadpool 2 that ho the whole gang can enjoy. Um, 118 minutes runtime. So, yeah. Um, let me open it up. Let's have a look what we've got. Close my knife back up. Okay, so get rid of the plastic. Um, like I said, I've seen it once. Um, I don't know if I would watch it again, to be honest with you. Um, but as a collector, it's nice to have it as part of the Deadpool set because it was something different. I don't know what's on the disc, can't remember. Let's have a look. So, just very, very standard, bulk standard, plain release, as you can see. Um, just the disc. Nothing else about it, really. Um, so there's your spine. Once upon a Deadpool. Cover and back. Um, Deadpool with Fred Savage there. So yeah, so that's it. That's the release of Once Upon a Deadpool. Um, have you seen this? Would you bother watching it? Wouldn't you if you just dismissed it as a, you know. Um, it's an interesting one to have on the shelf, for sure. Um, if you're a collector. Oh. <coughs> You know, different versions, um, yeah. So anyway, that was my opening of Once Upon a Deadpool Blu-ray. Australian version, like I said, so it has to be imported. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Leave me a message down below and I'll be sure to get back to you and all that. Thank you. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>